Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is an expansion for the game Cold Water Crown called The Sea. Cold Water Crown The Sea is basically the same as, it's an addition to the game Cold Water Crown. And the game is basically a worker placement slash puzzle game in which you're going to be taking things off of your tackle box, like jewels and gems, tackle basically. Uh, once you take off enough in a certain area, you can certainly catch fish, and catching fish is going to allude you to getting uh, trophies and prizes and whatnot. You'll need to catch certain fishes maybe from a master angler challenge or from the different locations There's like the pond. There's the river uh, the lake the shore uh, And you can catch also bonus fishes that are like the flounder the perch and the roach you can get bonus points there But basically uh, at the end of the game Which is going to happen when somebody gets 12 fish the game's gonna be over and whoever has the most uh, Poundage of fish in the different areas along with all the bonuses the most trophy points basically is going to be the winner the sea is interesting because it adds an extra layer to it, it adds actually the sea as another location you can go to but the way to get there is actually by boat and you're each going to get your own little boat and as an action in the port action you're going to be able to travel to the sea when you do that you're then going to be using all of your actions towards the sea tile and you're going to be able to catch things like giant squid from the master angler challenge now you can only catch these guys at the sea and you can only catch sea things when you're at the sea you can't go back and catch anything else Else. However, you can always, at the before or in, after an action, you can always take your boat off of the sea space and go back to catching stuff in the other locations. Nevertheless, let me show you the contents of all the game, including the uh, expansion and the base game of Cold Water Crown. So here we have the entire game of Cold Water Crown along with the C expansion. Now, first of all, if you haven't seen my original review of Cold Water Crown that explains everything involved in the game along with how to play it, I suggest you go back right now and take a look at that before continuing any further with this because I'm not going to explain fully how to play a game. Only thing I would say is that there's going to be a setup which looks very similar to this um, and as well as putting all the different locations, all the different uh, trophies in each of these different locations. This will involve the ending the game for 12 fish. This is getting the fastest to eight different species of fish. You're going to have fish down on each of these areas and each of these areas are going to depict different uh, locations, whether it be the lake, whether it be the shore, or whether it be a river. And each of these locations are important to catch fish because you're going to be able to gain uh, bonus victory points if you catch the right fish, as well as the Master Angler Challenge over here. You can gain these from going to the port. Now the port in the base game is gonna have two different things you can do by either putting stuff onto your little, uh, your little tackle box areas over here. And the reason that's important is because as you pull things off and on from this board, you're gonna be able to take off colors, whether it be using the one, taking off one of each of the same color on each of the different pieces or sides of the board. Or if you're placing it, taking off a two, you're actually gonna be taking off all of the specific color you're putting it on, or in the port section getting to choose two actions from the two available options. Both You can choose both the same or both different. And uh, that is the basic setup for the game as far as it looks just like this, along with the C over here. You're gonna be getting uh, in the C expansion, this board here, this deck of cards here, which is for all the different C stuff, whether it be cod or a red sea bream or a blue shark. There's a couple other ones in there, I believe, another, or another one in there, I believe. There's the C challenge here, and there includes a new tackle, which is the anchor. You're you're not allowed to use the rod here in this area. And how does that work? Because first of all, you're gonna be getting these boats as well. Each of you guys can get this boat. And it's cool because it is able to go uh, up or down. It just kind of gives you a little variety of how you're gonna be placing your boat. But you're gonna start with it on your board. And uh, as an action, when you place this here or take one of these off, you're going to be able to use another port action, which is taking your boat over here. And when you're over here, you can only do the C actions. You're not gonna be able to do the actions you would normally do over here, uh, you're still gonna be able to take off and put on over here. It's mainly the only place you're gonna be able to do that because you can't do it over here. But everything you do over here is actually going to affect over here. So if you run out of a color on your four area here and, and, and you had placed it right here, instead of taking this one, you're gonna be taking this one over here. And it would go for the same for any of these areas. It doesn't matter uh, where you pull or where you take off of, you'll be taking these things here. And at the end of the game, for each different type of fish you have, you're going to add them up. So for instance, if I had these three fish at the end of the game, this little C challenge here is going to give you a bonus based on how much uh, weight all this is. So that is going to be 26. So you would look 24 plus, like it's going to be three points at the end of the game. So that's how the basic fishing works. If you don't want to be here, you're going to have to go back. Uh, whenever you're using your, uh, whenever you have these guys here, squid are the ones that are specifically for the sea. These guys actually are going to allow you to uh, use any colors you want from your board whenever you take them off to go on 
here as opposed to the certain colors. These are the wilds. But you can only uh, utilize this when you are on this board with the ship, which means it's going to cost you an action to go from this location over here to over here. And you can then go ahead and put these guys on here. If you take if you take off the colors, you can put them on here. It doesn't matter which ones they are based on your actions and then utilize uh, the ability to catch these guys. However, if you are over here on this board, you do not get to utilize these. You can take them by uh, collecting them from the master angler spot here, simply by using it as an action. But if your boat is not here, you can't do that. So anything in the sea area, you have to have your boat in order to utilize anything else on this side, you cannot be here. Luckily, it is free to, to move your boat off, uh, off of the sea area before or after an action. At any point, you can go ahead and take this and move it off. It's only the costing of an action from here to go ahead and move your boat onto the sea area. Now also there's an anchor which is another bonus item here that's tackled that says that you can take one free port action. You can do any one of these three things by simply playing it. And that's going to be utilizing this five spot here whenever you take a fish off here. And the same goes for the six spot. You can take the top one from the stack. The game is going to end the same way. Whoever gets the uh, first to twelve fish is going to have everybody's going to get one more round. And of course the eight uh, first to eight different species, species is going to give you five five points here and you'll be using this just to put more stuff on your board so like I said the same puzzling aspect still occurs you're just adding a portion of, of the board over here and as you can see it connects another port action another piece of tackle and new fish and then a slightly new variant as to how you're going to be collecting coins throughout the or points throughout the game or trophies to increase your victory score total at the end of the game after somebody catches 12 so that's the idea let's come up and talk about it so cold water crown the expansion for the sea here is actually very very, very similar to Cold Water Crown. It adds just a little bit of a variation. They're going to get an extra piece, an extra board, basically, and a couple extra little bits that you're going to be stacking, throwing in, like the Master Angler Challenge. You're going to add the squids to it that can only be used during the sea. You're going to get new pieces of tackle. You'll get this boat, which is basically to signify whether you're at the sea or whether you're not at the sea. And uh, I think there's a couple other little things you might get. But nevertheless, it's basically that's basically what you're going to be getting. And does it does it differ as far as like whether you should pick this? Is this important enough to pick up uh, if you already have the base game? Well, I think it's going to depend on how much you like the base game. It's This is basically more of the same with an, a unique added mechanic of this boat here, allowing you to utilize this area over here that is the sea because you're too far away from the other locations to, to go ahead and utilize them. It makes perfect sense thematically. There's bigger and better fish there, and it's more about catching larger fish than it is against fighting against your opponents because this little tracker here is actually just on your own. If you catch a bunch of pounds of fish, you're going to do well. If you don't, you're not going to do well in the sea. It's kind of an extra push your luck aspect, an extra jump if just you're spending an action, you can get a bunch of points here. Uh, but it was interesting. For me personally, I love this game. Like I have grown to really love it as I continue to play it more and more. I really, really enjoy it. And I like the fishing aspect, the theme. This uh, C does add that extra theme I was looking for when I was talking about it after uh, reviewing the first Crowed Water Crown. I'm like, you know, I really do want to play the C now because I want to catch all those bigger fish. I want to catch sharks. I want to catch squids and whatnot. And this does give me what I want to do for it. However, if you find this the, the original base game, if you have, have played the base game and you find it to be okay and you're hoping that this extra experience expansion is going to provide oh, a whole new new style of mechanics or a whole new style of play probably not if you're not invested in the game already it's probably not a game you're going to want to pick up all on its own however if you have enjoyed the base game or you haven't played the base game and you want to add a little extra gameplay it's something that'd be nice if you don't have it and you like the idea and the theme and you've heard both of my reviews now i would definitely suggest just picking up both of them because it's definitely worth having that extra bit of strategy provided you already like the base game or are enthralled with it in some way for me personally this is a guaranteed keep as well it's something i would definitely be adding Whenever I play the game, I'm going to always add the C to it. It's up to you whether or not you'll be interested in it, though. But if you have the base game and you really, really like it, I definitely suggest you check out the game Cold Water Crowns Expansion The Sea.